friends is we're in the process of building a new uh, green LEED certified building out on Nantucket for our young children. We have infants, toddlers, and preschool children. And with this new building, we, our board of directors sat down and looked at it carefully and said, we would be irresponsible not to build a green building in Nantucket at this time. So we turned our attention and talked with our architect, Stephen Blashfield, and we all got together. We've had two charrettes where we involve people in the community that are interested in um, green buildings, being LEED certified, that's leadership in energy and environmental design. Oh, is that what they that's They what, actually have a system? Yes, that they ha actually mm -hmm. have a system. We go through systematically and check there's six areas where we have to look at our site sustainability, the energy we're going to use, the way that we're designing this building, and you go through and you systematically check off the things you're going to be doing in your new building, and we are, they have basic silver, gold, and platinum um, certifications, and we're going to go for the gold. So uh, we and are, what does that mean? What, that what means the that the difference is the number of points. Each, each thing that you do has a point attached to it. And so we will be going through, and we did this at our charrette, and figured out that for small friends, for what we want to do, that we will be doing almost everything. Uh, platinum is the highest. But there were things there we didn't want to do. Now, is it is it more expensive on the front end to do with it green? Is. It is. They are estimating that about 2% more expensive on the front end, but we will save funds uh, a lot of interesting statistics on the amount so of money we're So what kinds of things make it green? What kinds of things make yeah. it green is the kind of energy that we're going to be using. Okay. If you look at the picture here. I, I'll get that. Okay. I, because of the microphone, if I go down there, right. I hear One you. here. Okay. The building, we are, are putting in a lot of windows, and one of the things we're going to be doing is opening all of our windows at night and let all the cool Nantucket breezes come in, shut our building down in the day, and doing that, we intend not to have air conditioning in our building. We're not going to have underground uh, uh, water for our, our uh, grass. We're going to plant grass that lives on its own, and uh, we're not going to have underground watering. So there are a lot of ways uh, the kind of toilets that you use and the water consumption that goes into um, the toilets that are not uh, designed the way Are ours some of these businesses that are here, I mean, I'm just curious, are any of them involved in, in what you're doing at Fort We are at the very beginning, I see, yeah, I see. and so this design has just actually been completed this last week, and Stephen has a design team. That's part of this process, is having five people. You sit down and meticulously plan what you're going to do so that once you start building you just go very rapidly through the process and our goal is to uh, begin building our building in August and then be able to open in uh, uh, September of 08 and that's the goal and we're raising funds we are getting a lot of support from people who understand the importance of a child care program for infants, toddlers, and preschool children for working Nantucket families. And we have fundraisers, and we have, just happen to have a very big fundraiser coming up. Would you like to see? Oh, look at that. <laughs> A very big fundraiser coming up on Saturday night, and it's out at the uh, at the Chanticleer. Okay, at, Saturday. At, what's the date? Because this might run a little longer. The 28th. Right. Okay, yeah, good. the 28th. It's good, Daffodil good. Weekend. Yeah, right. Yeah, and so mm -hmm. we uh, ha are going to have a dinner for people at the. So small friends is going to get bigger. Small friends, we I mean, will increase the yeah. size of the number of children we have 45% with our new building. That is a, that's quite a bit. Right, it is a lot. It's because we have waiting lists for our infant, toddler, and preschool groups. I just spoke with a woman who said, when do you think your building will be completed? And I said, well, our goal is to get in the ground in 07 to be ready to open in the fall of 08. She said, oh, how do I sign up for preschool for my child? I want to get on your list so that I believe that uh, for many families on this island, that this new facility that has been so carefully designed will really be an attraction for a place. We're open from 7.45 in the morning to 5.15. So if you're a working parent on the island, this is, this is the place where you want to have your child.